Hi guys, welcome to another video about me, Computer Fly, and today I have another Visual Basic tutorial for you. I know I have been doing a lot of Visual Basic tutorials, but um, over the next coming weeks, probably the next three or four weeks, I will start doing more different tutorials like on Mac OS X, Mavericks, and well, probably the next version of Mac OS X, uh, and how to uh, virtualize that on your computer. But enough of that. Uh, this is a Visual Basic tutorial, and I'm going to take, teach you how to. It's not really an advanced tutorial. Um, I'm going to teach you how to have a fav icon showing in a picture box on your website or on for your web browser on Visual Basic. Now this isn't an advanced web browser by no means, so this is just showing you how to do it. So first, what you want to do is you want to put a web browser, just drag that into there, or just put it into there. And I'm going to undock in parent container. I'm just going to leave a gap at the top for the navigation bit. And then what you want to do is just want to add a text box. Let's put that there like that. Doesn't need to be nice. I'm just showing you. You want to put a button. I'm just going to type the button text to go. So when you've done that, what you want to do is you just want to double click that button and you want to put web browser one dot navigate. And then in the course you want to do text box one dot text. Then after that, what you want to do is go up here till you see your web browser control. And then in declarations, you want to find. Excuse me about that. Go to your web browser de declarations. You want to find navigated. So that's what you do, what you want to do. And then all you want to do after that is just put in text box one dot text equals web browser one dot url dot two string and then new line after that you want to put dim url as uri equals new uri and then in brackets you want to put text box one dot text then you want to do if url dot host name type equals URI hostname type dot DNS I think it is yeah DNS and then after that new line you want to do dim icon equals and then in quotes you just want to put HTTP HTTP and then colon just for the start of the domain then and URL dot hostname type dot host it should be actually URL dot host. Then you want to do under and symbol, and put fav icon dot ico. That's the extension for it. Then after that, you want to do dim request as system dot net dot http web request equals system dot net dot http web request dot create then in brackets you want to just put icon so then you've done that you want to do dim response as new uh, no just as system dot net dot reb response equals request dot get response then new line after that you better put some brackets on the end of there just put new line I want to put dim stream as system dot io dot stream equals response dot get response stream. Then you can put dim fav equals or fav icon equals image dot from stream and then in brackets you do want to put stream one thing that we should do before we do the next line of code <coughs> is before the text box just add a picture box just add a picture box I'm just going to change that to zoom just so it has the right uh, scale on it. Then you just want to put picture box one 
dot image equals fav icon then I think we're done so just debug the pro program just to test see if it works and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to www.google.com click go and yes it works you get your Google fav icon uh, to test it I'll also go to youtube.com and it should change so as I said this tutorial isn't that advanced at all but it uh, just shows you what you can do uh, with a, bit, a few lines of code to help you get a fav icon in your web browser so yes uh, thank you very much for watching this video if it helped you give it a like and yes thanks for watching and I will see you again in the video